I say bananas, you say peppers. You guys, do you remember the Bingus Ball from last week? I have an update. It is hairy and I really wish that it wasn't because it is so soothing. But you guys, I thought that it was not going to be sticky enough to get hairy but I guess the more it is exposed to oxygen. What makes that happen? Honestly, why? Why? This video is gonna be oh so random because we're gonna be opening. I thought that like, you guys, I thought that this was gonna be another one of the episodes of like opening 50 pounds of random mystery items. Let me compose myself, take a sippy sippy, and stop thinking about the splinter that is in my foot, TMI, but we're friends. So it's okay. So anyway, I thought that today I was gonna try and open a bunch of items with this item, much like I think our last episode, I opened one of these in it. If you guys have not caught that episode, I will try and remember to link it somewhere here so that you can watch it. I think it was a particularly fun episode. But one of the things I opened in that mystery video was like this toilet. It was like a whole bathroom set for dolls and miniatures and um i think it's technically this one is the target version which is called our generation um and then maybe this kit was from my life which is the um walmart line of like american girl dolls and items and accessories. Um, so you guys know that I love my little um, weird reborn babies. I love making TikToks with them particularly, but I like to add like a bunch of different little props to the TikToks each time I feel like it's just fun. I want to make another TikTok with this avatar baby. It's like definitely one of my favorite reborns that I own. Um, so this was actually, this bed I think was from the My Life collection, but my mom and I, we just like made all of this stuff because the bed was actually really cute, but like the mattress and the blankets that came with it, not so cute. So my mom and I actually like just handmade him <laughs> some little, um, quilts and he has a little bed sheet that we made and a little miniature pillow. Well, it had a pillow, but we covered that with like white fabric because it was all purple. So it didn't look like very realistic. Um, so we just like made it a white pillowcase and then this pillowcase. And anyway, you guys I'm sure are very familiar with this Avatar Reborn. I think I actually, hello. What is it focusing on? Oh my God, Avatar Reborn. I feel like you guys are like very familiar with this guy. I think that I even unboxed him here with you, with, with, with you guys on this channel. I feel like I just explained this really badly. I'm basically wanting to make another TikTok with the Avatar Reborn. Total stream of consciousness vlog up till this point. But basically you guys know I've been doing a lot of deep dive cleaning. I've been cleaning a lot of items out of the closet that is just off screen over here that you guys can't see. And I had a lot of props like this um, stashed in there as well as a lot of the mystery things that we've been unboxing. And I really feel like um, y'all are gonna like this as well. It's so heavy. I literally had to have Dogman like move it from there to here because I, I literally cannot pick it up. You guys but I really feel like y'all are gonna like this because it reminds me of the little miniature mystery backpacks full of tiny real school supplies because it's like that um I think we even get a miniature locker in here school chairs a miniature dry erase board quite apparently a working fire alarm um a real chalkboard a desk, which that's honestly why I'm opening this today because I feel like just having the school desk is gonna be adorable. Oh my God, it looks like there's two school desks, you guys. Um, I, I feel like I would have loved this when I was a kid as well because, oh my God, I feel like I've said this before. I hated going to real school school, loved pretending to be at school when I was at home. There's 68 items in here to look at. So somebody at home, keep count. Well, <laughs> maybe you don't have to keep count because there should be 68 items. I was gonna put this 
in like a larger um, mystery unboxing type of video, but I feel like anything with like 50 pieces, that's maybe big enough to deal with in one video. So there is a handle here on top. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Also, I'm curious to see like the quality because there are like pens and pencils and erasers in here. So I'm kind of curious, are they going to be like the supplies in the mini backpacks? Are we actually going to get like real working miniature pens or are they just going to be like little plastic props? Because sometimes I am like really surprised by the detail and quality of these like little miniature American Girl doll accessory packs. And sometimes like they're lacking a little bit of detail. I might just have to go like this. Oh my God, doesn't it look like something is literally missing here? Ta-da, recycling bin. So maybe do keep count at home because maybe we're only gonna have 67 items. Oh my God. <laughs> This is like kind of big. Look at how cool. Okay, well this one definitely will open. You can open these little windows. You can like pull down these little, oh, they're like um sunshades. I thought that they were gonna be like, you know, those charts that you pull down and it's like all about Mozart. Oh, <gasps> there we go, okay. Oh my God, can you guys see this? It's like glowing like blue. That is so cool, but I might donate this. I don't know. It's like really realistic. Give me just a second because honestly, instead of just like struggling for 20 minutes at a time to unwrap these items from the packaging, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to figure out how to take all these little items out of here and then we'll look at them. Whew. You guys, um, I'm glad I stopped filming for a second to get everything unpacked because oh my God, you guys, the sun is now nearly setting. When I started filming this, we had full sunshine. I can now fully maybe say this is one of those videos where it's like, I regret buying these tiny school supplies because I did kind of always wonder why this box was so big and I guess I just did not probably read the box, even as I was just unboxing it now. Um, Cause you do get the entire school. Like the entire, like look at this. Look at this, you guys. Um, It comes with a floor, a floor, which it does look really cool, by the way. I mean, it is like an amazing, like actually tiled. Like it kind of looks like a glass tile floor but you can make four walls. You guys, I'm like looking for room to set this up. Oh my God, you guys, I just, I had no idea. Um, so here is this, I'm gonna try and put batteries in it. Um, it did come with a little battery for the clock. So I did go ahead and clip the clock into place. And there is a little light switch over here that's supposed to turn these lights on. This is a real chalkboard. Two of the items that we got, which that's the only thing that I think is kind of funny, is like literally everything. Everything in this entire set is miniature except for the chalk. You just get two normal, huge size pieces of chalk. That was the other thing that I thought was kind of odd is that you get the chalkboard and you get two pieces of chalk, but you don't get like the chalkboard eraser. On the other side, it is just um, all bricks as well, which really, really detailed. This one is really cute as well. It's the actual door and the door opens and closes. Look at that. Oh my God. It's even like kind of on like springs. Do you guys see that? It's like a ye old saloon door. Um, pretty, ah! <gasps> pretty cool. Um, cause that's the other thing I did wonder is in one of the little things that we got pencil boxes, pencil cases, couldn't think of the word. We got push pins which I thought was like kind of odd. We got three dull push pens, but I'm gonna try and see. Oh, you can. <gasps> Look at that. You can actually 
use the memo board, the peg board. I don't know what these are technically called. Foam board, memo board. Do they have another like technical name? So this is where the fire alarm is, but I'm pushing it and it's not working. And then here's like the little lockers. So they're like part of the wall. Here's the alarm that I keep trying to push. Really, really cute, but I feel like I definitely like don't need that. And I'm really like only interested in the smaller realistic school supplies. Oh, and there's this thing, which literally it did come with all of these assembly instructions. So you can put this in one of the corners of the classroom and it's like a shelving system. The other large thing is this, which I'm trying to once again look at the assembly instructions to understand like is this supposed to be a piece of a roof? Also I somehow didn't notice as I was buying this that it has not one but two desks and you guys I truly miss. I wish I could find like a school that was like selling old <laughs> school desks like this because I and you know what you're probably not even supposed to be doing this like popping your own back that's probably like not healthy but oh my god I feel like I have not like ever cracked my back in such a satisfying way as sitting down in a school desk and like pushing up against the desk to like pop your back oh my god that used to be like the most relaxing feeling um so we do have pink desk which also oh my god it opens storage space thank you um but then look when it closes it's like the desk like slides out is that something that like happened did i just miss like i definitely remember having the cubby desk like this but i don't remember like the top sliding up and out and then of course we're about to get into the miniature pens and pencils but there's the little groove on the top of the desk as well so if you wanted to set a pen or a pencil in there for extra realism you could let's see first of all can can shrek baby <gasps> he's like a little tiny for this honestly he does not want to be learning let's set him back on his toilet back there uh and let's get avatar baby this is kind of i think who i had in mind for this i feel like i need to oh my god he, yeah he's like the perfect size honestly i just feel like i need to think of a way um where i can use like i don't even know if clear wire is a thing but i kind of want to make him like a temporary posable like skeletal system that i can like attach to him to help him like stay in poses easier um so we have pink desk and we have blue desk and it's the same exact thing but different um because it's like blue instead of pink um i try and usually not use like blue accessories all that much when I'm thinking of Avatar Baby just because I don't feel like he pops as much when he's also like sitting on something blue. The last chair, which oh my god, he looks like he's gonna sit in this rolling chair and make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh my god, look, he sits in that one. Honestly, maybe the best. I kind of also like how his foot is just doing that little thing. And it rolls. It really does roll. Oh my god, is he gonna fall over? Ah, uh, yeah, rolling chair. So this chair is supposed to be for the teacher. And I will go ahead and show you guys the teacher's desk now. Because maybe this would also be better, you guys. Ooh, a loose Sharpie. Ah, you guys. See what I'm saying? Okay, I'll go ahead and find that. Oh, I put it in the desk. Anyway, um, there was a ton of stuff on the desk here the pencil sharpener really actually oh desk drawer the pencil sharpener really actually turns so that's pretty cute that's like stuck there forever though here is this little desk drawer there was lots of items on 
top of the desk. For whatever reason, we have two pencil sharpeners, I guess because there's two desks. So theoretically, you could have two students who would need the same supplies. We also have this, which this is so cute. The only thing missing that I wish we had was like a binder, but look at this. This is actually um, lined miniature notebook paper. And maybe you guys can see, like it does actually have holes in it. See what I'm saying? <gasps> We're missing a teeny tiny little three ring binder. Maybe that's how they keep people like collecting these sets is cause they're like, well, you've got the paper now. Now you need a binder. Um, I'll go ahead and find the other thing that maybe you could use with this is a clipboard. Oh my God, the little clipboard actually clips. So maybe that's what they were thinking is you would put it, but it has holes in it, right? Um, so this little clipboard came with an attendance sheet, but let's see, can we actually put some of the little pieces of paper It actually clamps in there? So that's really cute, but I am curious if somewhere out there, there is a, what is this series called? Our Generation? I can't keep it straight between my life, Our Generation, The Tale of Two Cities. Um, what, what is this series called? But I wonder if there is a three ring binder that is part of this universe. Um, also we have two erasers which look really convincing. But see, once again, these are not actually usable. And that's the only thing that kind of bums me out is I really liked the mystery backpacks. In comparison, I think it's fun when you get actual real tiny usable supplies versus just little bits of plastic. We also had a, I cannot remember the difference between a protractor and a compass. I know that that is like kind of embarrassing. I think that this is a protractor. <laughs> um, it's a little thing where you spin and you can like make circles. Maybe that's a compass. We did get a pencil in one of the pencil boxes. So I'm gonna see, does the pencil, oh, it does. Okay, that's pretty cool. So the real tiny little pencil will fit in there. But as I'm sure you guys can, prematurely guess my slight disappointment. Once again, the pencil, it's just all plastic. And I'm like, they really made it look so detailed that I kind of don't know why they didn't just make a real miniature pencil. In some ways, I actually think that that would be like less expensive, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, we also have these super adorable, adorable, realistic looking scissors. These kind of remind me of the keychain, the scissors in a keychain. Remember the stationary minis? We've opened those two times now, two different series, two different sets. But I think the first series that we ever opened had the miniature teeny tiny little scissors keychain inside of it. And this definitely reminds me of that. I feel like this would make like a really cute like earring or necklace as well. So we have that and then let me see. Oh yeah, how could I forget? Tons of more supplies in the teacher's desk. Uh, so something else we got is a stapler and I like that you can actually push it down a little. It almost does make a stapler sound, um, but I'm like, I'm not that shocked, honestly, that the stapler isn't real and that the scissors aren't real. That like makes more sense to me than like, why is the pencil not real? Uh, we also have a very realistic looking teeny tiny calculator. And I wish you could push the buttons, but you can. I mean, some of this stuff, like, I feel like, has there ever been a calculator made that's functional that's this tiny? I almost like would think the answer is no, but maybe there is. I don't know. Maybe there is a real working itty bitty teeny tiny little calculator. And then the other thing that, oh my God, I was really hoping that these were actually going to be real because it does look so cute. Um, see, I feel like these are the props that I would definitely use the most. So I probably should have seen if I could have just found more sets like this that just had little things versus buying this gigantic, huge, entire thing. Um, so we have two pins and oh my gosh, you guys, just look at how detailed these look and the caps even come off. 
And then sadly, it's just a piece of plastic. So we have blue and we have red. And then we have a pink highlighter, which looks so cute. And once again, the cap does come off and it looks like it would be a real highlighter. And then we have a Sharpie in here. And that that's kind of like the least detailed one, honestly, because the tip isn't black. This is so, so cute. Love this one. Love the little pencil thing. I felt like there was something else that I just pulled out in there. But what happened to it? I don't know. Also have a miniature coffee mug. Now this does say, I love my teacher. And um, it has some little coffee liquid in there, but I think I would definitely only display it on like the plain side. I don't know, what would Avatar Baby's career be? He needs a little briefcase. Um, we also have these glasses, which these look like they're gonna be a little bit large for Avatar Baby's face. They're like red. Oh, look at that, don't they actually? Am I just like full of it right now? Don't they kind of look? Okay, no, it's just the plastic is distorted, but it looked like it kind of had some like magnification to it, which that wouldn't be that shocking to me. Cause I mean, honestly, you can like get like the little like reader glasses now at like the dollar store and stuff. So I don't feel like that's that crazy. Um, and we have a little black bow on the glasses. So I'm gonna try these on. Yeah, these are too big for <laughs> Avatar Baby. It looks like kind of funny. The clothing accessory is usually don't work out too well. Um, for Avatar Baby. Sometimes they can work better on the larger Avatar Baby that I have, um, but for this Reborn, the accessories that I get from like the mini brands, those work better. And then some of the accessories we've even gotten from the Kid Robot mystery unboxing things, like particularly from the Andy Warhol series, like we got little glasses and like a little camera and stuff. Those accessories work really well with him as well. Last but not least on the teacher's desk, we have this tiny little tape dispenser. And when I saw this, this was like one of the first supplies that I pulled out of the box when I was just doing this super lengthy cutting apart the plastic bits. And then I was like really convinced that we were gonna get a bunch of real working like miniature pens and pencils and stuff because this actually does have real tape. Now you'd probably actually have to get scissors or something to cut it because the little thing here on the end that usually like cuts the tape for you, that is a dull piece of plastic. Still this spins and it actually would dispense teeny tiny little tape. Um, so yeah, that was it for the desk. Once again, I feel like this would be a prop that I would be able to use more often than like walls. All right, up next, uh, I will show you guys these, which I think that this is what they do in like younger schools now. They have like these little cubby things, which I like, I, we never had this. I don't know. I feel like this is like a new concept for schools, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's been a thing for quite a while now. The other thing that I thought was cute is you get these like little cardboard certificates. This says certificate of achievement, and then you can fill it in. And then these are like four that you can like, it's like perforated. And this says good behavior. And then you can fill it out. Um, I kind of thought that these were like progress reports at first. I think that that's it for over there. I already showed you guys the recycling bin and this is really cute as well. This is actually part of the teacher's desk. I forgot to show you guys. It's like a real looking um, potted plant. Oh, maybe it's not that real looking. I don't At a distance. Do you think this is a tiny plant? You could almost actually like just get a small succulent and like have a real plant if you were like really into miniatures or something. So it does look like there's dirt. It is in a pot. And I feel like this is a prop I would really use 
as well. Um, all right, you guys, I think we'll do the pencil cases next. Once again, I think they were going for like a pink and blue kind of thing, but this one looks more like a salmon kind of orangey color. There was a pencil that came in here that I showed you guys in the compass. And I think the push pins came in this one as well. So all we're left with now is the actual case itself, which these are actually like, they feel like really good quality. And then we have this which I'm hoping that like I can tape the box and make it like a little less smushed, but it's crayons and the crayons actually come out. Oh, look at that. I definitely need to tape some of the wrappers back on because the blue crayon is just coming undone. But look at that. That's actually like really, really super, super cute. Now let's look at the blue pencil box, which um, kind of the same theory as the crayons, except for this time we got some colored markers. So first of all, this though, adorable. And it kind of has a little bit of a um, 90s retro feel to it, but it's like a pencil with a giant heart eraser on the top. And um, definitely wish it was a real eraser once again, but hey. Um, and then we have all of these markers and each of them looks like they would be the color that they're supposed to be. So we get four of them, super cute. And then orange, that's the last one. So that was everything in this pencil case. Then we get a bunch of rulers. Is this, no, is this a protractor? You guys, please help, oh my gosh. I would definitely fail on that. What was that reality show called? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? No, clearly not. Um, we have this one and we have another one. I think that's like a right angle ruler. And then we have two just regular looking rulers that once again, I think they're supposed to correspond. They're like the exact same color as the pencil cases. So I think it's like one for each. And then two of my favorite things are these composition notebooks. One says composition, one says math. Um, but once again, these are actual real teeny tiny little lined um, notebook pages. I was kind of wondering if math was like actually gonna be like, was it gonna have um, graph paper? Was it gonna be different in some way? Like, why is it labeled math? Speaking of which, I will show you guys these two things, of course, which, oh my God, I was like kind of curious if they were gonna be real, actual textbooks. One says art, one says math. And these are so cute. They are just like blank, little hardback. Like, they're actually like hardback um journals kind of uh but they just have like brightly colored sheets of paper in it then art blue and orange dogman's favorite colors together he's gonna love to see this it's just cute i love these little miniature things so much this is not like full full size like the chalk bits are but it's like this one actually does work as well it's like a pink um I think it's a pink highlighter, uh, but they, they say that you can use this with the dry erase board. Then we have miniature post-it notes. So adorable. It says, I love science, but you can just peel that off and then have regular usable, actually sticky post-it notes. Pretty magical. We have four, so you better not need to study too much, but we have four um little... <laughs> What are these things called? Cue cards? Like flashcards. There you go. Blank like flashcards. You guys, my school brain is clearly not intact. We have two of these little file folder things. Once again, I'm sure this is like for the teacher desk. There's actually on this one with the chalkboard. I'm sure you can like um, put the little folders in here. See, that's what I'm saying though. Like the folders and the little cards, <gasps> they actually like don't fit in that great, honestly. They kind of do. It's a little bit of a tight fit. <gasps> um, but 
I'm sure that's what those like clear things are there for. I kind of wish that they gave you more of the little flashcards and more folders because they're just like little pieces of paper. And I feel like you have three folder slots and only two folders. What are you gonna do with four flashcards? These I thought were super adorable as well. They're actually individually wrapped. And once again, I'm sure this is like, if you actually wanted to play school and do like attendance or something, we have a little sheet of Apple stickers and a little sheet of star stickers. Very cute. And we have these two things, which I think are the last items. And at first I thought that these were sticker sheets as well, but I think that they are meant to be like posters that you can hang on the memo board or something. Uh, so that one is super cute. And that one is also super cute. We have an alphabet. Is that it, you guys? I think that that's everything. So I think what I'm gonna do now is actually like try and assemble the four walls so that I can show you guys what everything looks like. And I'm also gonna try and put in um, like a battery or something to get the alarm bell to work so you guys can like actually hear what that sounds like. All right, you guys. So we finally got everything set up and it does look really cute, but I don't know if we just got a dud one or like, I, I don't know. I don't see how we could have done it wrong. Um, but I kind of wish I would have filmed a couple clips of the putting it together process. Cause what I didn't notice is each of the panels and the floor had like these pins that you had to like push into place and so I thought that that was gonna like give the whole school power because basically like each of the panels has like something where it's supposed to light up or make a sound or something like that and so I mean we got everything pushed down into place you'll see it when I'm like including the clip we got the shelf assembled and like clipped and pushed into place and um so at first we thought well maybe it just doesn't have enough like juice in the batteries that it came with so we like unscrewed this panel in the back and put in all like three brand new batteries but still the only thing that works is like the same blue board like what worked like when we like this already worked you guys already saw that um but even though everything should be getting power and it should all be connected the alarm bell still does not work and this other like light slash intercom thing over the blackboard still won't light up. But this actually stays on um, until you push the little button on top again. Um, the only other thing that surprisingly didn't work was the little miniature pink um, highlighter slash dry erase thing. I guess it has just been in the package maybe for too long because um, I was gonna try and write on the dry erase board that didn't work. Um, the chalkboard, it does actually really work and it's really easy to erase as well. I just like wrote banana peppers on there. So yeah, it's like, it's, it's really, really cute all set up. It does take quite a few minutes to set it up just because like, it's not as easy as I think it should be to line up the pins and like push it into place. There is like I wouldn't say there's like resistance there, but it's like these walls like don't feel that sturdy, especially the floor. So you're kind of just like battling, like pushing it down too hard where you think you're just gonna like crack the whole thing versus like actually getting it all connected together. But it is like really pushed in place. So I don't know why none of the other things work. Super, super cute. Filmed a little clip. It's kind of weird now, honestly, to just have Avatar Baby in there by himself, like no other students and no teachers. Um, so he's kind of like in the back rooms schooling system right now. I did end up putting um, Baby Shrek in there as well, even though he's like kind of too teeny tiny. He doesn't look as good in the chairs, in my opinion. But I did like try and shut Avatar Baby's, like one of his fingers in the desk. I like actually closed the desk on his finger and then like put one of the erasers over it just so it kind of looked like he was like holding an eraser or something but so his arm would be up so he didn't just look like kind of so goofy like just sitting in a chair even though it's kind of funny that both of these smaller reborns I have their eyes are closed so that's just definitely like kind of funny to begin with like everybody's asleep at school overall 
I really, really like this. I think it's like way more than like what generally I would ever need. Although it might be like kind of fun to film a TikTok like just in this like school setting before we collapse it and take it all down. It's definitely like more than what I thought we were buying because um, I was really just looking for all the little supplies and the desks and the rolling chair. I thought that that would be cute too, but I definitely did not need like a whole blackboard, three wall and a floor situation. But anyway, you guys, let me know what y'all think of this. I think once again, same as the bathroom set, there are some really cute aspects of this where I'm like, oh wow, this is like so cool, such high quality. Um, but then there are some other things where I'm like, oh, I wish they would have just made like this or that, like a little bit more real especially because I think some of these sets some of them are more expensive and some of them are a little bit less expensive I think I actually bought all of these sets more or less at the same time because I think um right when I got Avatar Baby maybe I went into Target and they they actually had a lot of these sets like on super sale they were like 25 35 percent off or something so I think that that's when like I bought a bunch of things because I was like oh these would be like such great props but then it's so funny because I feel like then when I like got home and saw the Avatar Baby I was like oh my god like this toilet is gonna be way too small for him I didn't have the other dolls at that time anyway you guys so much rambling today so much rambling um but thank you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching i would love to know all of you guys's thoughts and opinions in the comments down below as usual thank y'all so so much for hanging out today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit the button down below subscribe become a member of the banana pepper squad today and until i see you guys again stay happy stay healthy stay sassy stay banana peppery i love you guys so so much and i'll be back again very very soon bye